application does that have in my life? Coster the steal and a dunk. And here's Coster again. Back to back. Hello everyone and we welcome you live here to the Kearney High School Gymnasium for could be the biggest game of this season. It's the A4 District Final. Lincoln North Star, Kearney competing for an A4 District Championship, but more importantly, a berth in the state tournament. I am your host, Jeff Ekstrom, along with my Cullerman Kinemarath, and joining me later, Jack McFadden, our producers, James Lee, Zach Warren, Alyssa Epler, Allie Myers, and our sponsor, Robert 
kickoff, and we are extremely excited to bring you uh, here this district final postseason play here on our own Strive channel. Cannon, I can't wait. It's going to be an exciting night. You know, this is always probably one of the best games of years, the district finals from the four years of being in high school. It's always one of my favorite memories, but if we're going to talk about district finals, let's not repeat last year's district final against Lincoln Northeast. That is one we are hopefully here in Kearney we are not going to see because last year's district finals was a nail biter. And I remember sitting, I'm sitting in the same spot, was not calm, but sitting in the spot doing stats. I remember it was like, he needs to miss it. That one shot, but last year, we, do, we just do not have to repeat of last year's district, district's finals. But most important, I am looking forward to this district's finals game, and it's going to be a great game between these two. I mean, these two have already played this season, but it's redemption for North Star, Kearney, they're going at it. When you see teams go at it twice in one season, it could be a different outcome, and it's going to be an exciting game between the two, especially here at Kearney for the, the final game before going who the winner will go to Pinnacle Bank Arena, which is a beautiful place, and the winner will go there. So it's going to be exciting between the two here, and hopefully it's a good game here at Kearney High. Kaden is uh, mentioning the district final, A4 district final, a season ago when Lincoln Northeast came to town. Uh, it was a final of 61 to 57 in overtime. Malcolm Wintlow, their star player who averaged 22 points a game, missed a step back three that could have put the Bearcats' hopes of going to the state tournament in jeopardy. Missed it off the front rim, and the Bearcats eventually drew the foul and hit the free throws to put it away. And they made it to the state semifinals last season. They're hoping to do that this season as well. Once again, the number one seed in the A4 district taking on Lincoln North Star, who is the number three seed. Let's recap what happened in the first round of this district uh, for the Bearcats. It was absolute dominance. Beating Lincoln Southeast, the number four seed, 82 to 52. Cannon Coster, a game high, 26 points. The Bearcats a season high, 10 three-pointers. Bearcats shot light out, uh, four double-digit scores. Cannon Coster with 26, Carson Schwartz with 12, Seth Stroh and Colin Murray each with 10 as the Bearcats steamrolled the Knights by a 30-point margin, 82 to 52. On the other hand, Lincoln North Star comes in over a record 12 and 12. The Bearcats are 17 and 6. Uh, it was the it was the Gators who upset the number two seed Grand Island in GI by a final score of 52 to 50. Uh, Derek Rule, who will come off the bench tonight for the Gators, stole a pass from GI's junior Mutch Beal and then put a layup in as time expired. Um, to beat the Islanders 52-50 on their home court. Uh, Cannon, uh, we were paying close attention to that game uh, when we played here on Friday. And to say the least, that was very unexpected. Uh, especially as time expired, GI held a 10-point lead with two minutes to go, or four minutes to go, blew that lead, and uh, here we are, district final. It'll be interesting to see what Lincoln North Star deploys. Maybe their confidence is a little high after that victory. You know... I'm going to say this now. We, I know Jeff and I talked about it earlier in the day, but I think it's time for the viewers. The one of the reasons why Lincoln North Star pulled the upset was Grand Island was not really. They were more prepared for Carney than mm -hmm. North Star, and that got that was a great advantage for Lincoln North Star. It got the GI, and they came with that win. And that's honestly why Grand Island kind of lost that match. My personal opinion. That's why Grand Island maybe lost that match was it got to their head, and they were looking forward to Carney in the finals, but. Unfortunately, that last second steal puts it in, and North Star gets the win. And as you said, they were with a 10-point. I remember sitting here, we were kind of, when we were getting our updates, we're like, okay, okay, it looks like we might have GI. And also, and Mr. Goff brought us the paper saying this game is tied. It was like, I think it was like 18 mm -hmm. seconds. We're like, this game just changed. And then with that one-second steal, when he brought it, it was he brought it to me real quick to give it to you. That's now. But I remember reading that, and when they won, I was just like, wow, that's incredible. And if North Star, with that momentum they built up, hopefully that momentum did not carry into this game between Kearney. And, you know, that's probably going to be one of their things is that momentum is still on their favor from that win into this Kearney game since the last time these two played. It wasn't – it was a good game between the two. And I'm a big believer in your big-time players have to make big-time plays in big-time games. And for Grand Island, that's not what happened. Uh, Lebec Warren. Averages 19 points a game during the regular season. Only had two points during that game. 
their player, big time player, not making big time plays. And even though it was close, there's very few teams that can get away with that. And uh, for Grand Island, they were not one of those teams. They almost did, but it was Derek Rule putting the upset to the Islanders, and that's how Lincoln North Star got here today. Well, we're going to take a quick break, come back, get you the starters, and get you keys to the game here in this A4 District Final between Carney, Lincoln North Star, here on the Bearcat Sports Network pregame show. Sportsmanship is the ability to have fun, be competitive, and treat others with respect in the act of winning or losing, whether that's parents or players. Sportsmanship is the balance between players, coaches, officials, and spectators. Supporting and encouragement surpasses all harsh judgment. Express positive motivation by communicating with good sportsmanship, either in the stands or in the act of participating. We welcome you back live here at Kearney for the Bearcats Sports Network pregame show for this A4 District Final. Jeff Ekstrom here along with Ken Arath. Joining us later will be Jack McFadden. And, uh, well, keys to the game for this one. We have about five and a half left on the clock before we get started here in Kearney. Uh, Cannon, we'll start with you. Uh, the Bearcats, they got some things to do if they want to get past this North Star team. As you said, you know, I'm going to, Kind of go off a little experience. In the last game, these two teams play. Carney went down 9-0. There was a 9-0 run for North Star. They did get out of that eventually. For Carney, they're going to need to score, score early, get a good lead, play some good defense. But then, like on the shot part, like the last game, they need to build off like the last game. Every open shot they took win in. They just need to make great shot selections tonight. You know, that could be a help. Play solid defense. Watch kind of more in the paint. And then um, for them. The big key for them is the, is the guard, their star player, Devon, De, De, Donovan Williams. Donovan, I don't know why I can't say that. I should be able to say that name. Donovan Williams. They got to be able to guard him pretty well. And I think it's more, you know, Carney just needs to take their open shots. Do not get do not get down again. And then don't play sloppy. Once you have a lead, constantly play until that final second uh, ticks off the clock. And that's just how I think that's just how Carney's how they're going to do well. And also, not a one-man show. This has to be a great team effort, and that's what we need to see from Seth Stroh, Cannon Coster, Carson Torres, just a whole Bearcats lineup, multiple double-digit scores, you know, just try to play the best they can and just do a great job overall. Uh, for Lincoln North Star, you got to look at uh, the secondary scores. Donald Williams, he's coming. He's that threat. That's, he's probably going to get his 15, 20 points a game no matter really what you do. So what the Bearcats have to do, make sure no one else goes off. Last game, uh, Donald Williams went off for 24 points, led all scores against Grand Island. Second lead score, Alexander Goal at 10. That's a 14-point drop-off. And they had no one else, only two double-digit scores. Bearcats had four in the first round. So it's going to be a matter of whether North Star can get other contributions from across the board. Those guys have to be uh, the senior um, Alexander Goal, uh, along with uh, the sophomore or excuse me, the senior Sam uh, Jurasek. They have to be able to score more points uh, for them to be able to survive here in Kearney. That's not what happened last time. They had one double digit score, and that was, or two, excuse me, Alexander Goal at 10 points, and Donovan Williams at 10 points when they came here last at Kearney. So it's going to be about 
getting points off the bench and from other starters uh, for the North Star team. And also the guy hit shots. Last game, uh, the Bearcat, they played the Bearcats. Not a lot of not a lot of people besides Goal and Williams hit their shots. So other contributors got to do that if North Star wants a chance to uh, be in this game. They're going to come out in the zone. So we'll see what they uh, want to do to stop Cannon Coster, uh, who went 12 points, and Seth Stroh, who went for 20 last time out. So, okay, it'll be interesting. They'll come out with the zone. Hopefully the Bearcats get their shot to get this victory here today. Yeah, the Bearcats are going to need to try to pick out that zone real quick, try to expose it, and, you know, just like I said, just try to expose the zone as best they can, you know, make them shift to a new defensive form. Like, Car like Carney just needs to build off that lead and then make them switch to a new defense form where, you know, it's going to be one of those struggles where they could do a fast change for everybody. But if Carney can pick it real quick, that would be a great, great key for the Bearcats. Well, we're going to take one last break and come back, get you the starters and ready for tip here on the BSN two point, BSN pregame show. Carney, look at our star, a berth in the state tournament on the line. Coming up next here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Welcome back here to Kearney BSN pregame show. This A4 district final, 30 seconds left on the clock. They're going to do the start national anthem and starting lineups. So we're going to wait till after the national anthem to get you the starting lineup. So stick with us. We'll have another break here on BSN. Uh, so stick with us here on the A4 district final pregame show here on the Bearcats Sports Network.
We welcome you back live here to Kearney for the BSN pregame show in this A4 district final. A state tournament berth on the line. Lincoln North Star trying to get back to Pinnacle Lake Arena for the first time since 2012 while the Bearcats are trying to go back to back times of the state tournament for the first time since they went three straight times from 2006 to 2008. The first starting lineups for Lincoln North Star. Leading the way for North Star is a 6'4 sophomore. Number three, Donovan Williams. Averages 20. He averaged 18.1 points per game. And then in the first round of districts against Grand Island, he has 24 points. And after that, we have the 5'10 senior, number four, Sam Jaroshek. He averages 7.2 points per game. And then against Grand Island, he had six points. They were all three pointers. Then we have the 6'4 senior, number 13, Alexander Gold. He's a 6.7 points per game, and then against Grand Island, he had 10 points and 10 rebounds. Big key there also for the rebound aspect. And then we have the 6'3 sophomore, number 40, Jared Lopez. Averages 3.6 points per game, and against Grand Island, he had three points, and rounding off the starting lineup for the Navigators is a 6'4 senior, number 44, Dylan Brandt. Averages 6.4 points per game, and against Grand Island, he had three points. And that is the starting lineup for the visiting Lincoln North Star Navigators. For the Bearcats, normal starting lineup tonight. The 6'1 junior, number three, Karsid Schwarz, averages seven points a game. You have the 5'10 senior, number 15, Matt Studi, averages four points a game. You have the 6'4 sophomore, number 20, Seth Stroh, averages 12 points a game. You have the 6'3 senior, number 32, Sam Straka, averages three points a game. And then lastly, the 6'3 senior, the 2016 All-Stater, and most likely an All-Stater this year as well, the number 44, Cannon Coster, he had a game high 26 points against Lincoln Southeast in the first round of this A4 District Tournament. Join us now in color tonight, Jack McFadden. Jack, good to have you back. Jeff. You saw uh, Carney play this team on senior night yep. just a couple weeks ago. So what are you most excited about uh, this for this A4 District Final? Well, like we were talking about, we were talking about you know the tape of the game um, that we were watching earlier from the last game. And it was a 12-point game coming down to it. And that's not a lot. Um, so on a night like this, I think a key for North Star, and what I want to see is I want to see a good game. And I think if they can keep it within 10, 8 points, 5 points, they don't have to be winning. But as long as they can keep it close, and they have playmakers. We saw them. 13, big playmaker. Uh, number 3 out there. So, I mean, if they can keep it in and, and then come back when they need to, it, it'll be a good game. Because what I noticed from film as well is that North Star didn't hit a lot of shots. Besides Zamba Williams, no one else really made a lot of shots. So it'll be a matter, is North Star going to hit shots tonight? We'll see. The Bearcats need to make shots yeah. tonight. That's a sure thing. North Star, like last game, they're probably going to come out with a 2-3 uh, zone. So the Bearcats, let's hope they didn't use all their three-pointers yeah. in the first round yeah. and hit some tonight. And especially with the Bearcats, we're so cannon coster heavy. If North Star comes out, you know, two, three zone boxing Cannon, how are the Bearcats going to react to that? Because you need somebody who can score after Cannon in a game like this. Well, Sestro kind of turned at that secondary threat, averages 12 points a game. Last time out, Stro was the leading scorer, 20 points to lead the Bearcats. So here we go. Williams and Coster for the tip. And Williams is going to win it. And we are off here in this A4 District Final in Kearney. Domin Williams to bring it up the floor. Bearcats in their home white. North Star in their away navy blue. Good and dude. it's going to be batted around the floor. Stroke dives for it but gets it away. Jurachik has it guarded by Straka. They give it to Williams. Important matchup. Carson Schwartz is guarding Williams. Williams Good help by Stroke. And it's going to be a turnover. That's number 44, Dylan Brandt. Couldn't get his hands on it. And so Carson Schwarz will bring up the floor. 30 seconds in. And look, they have that kind of 3-2 zone right there. Same thing as they did last time out against the Bearcats back on February 10th when they played here in Kearney. Schwarz, high post, gets out to Straka. North Star's moving well on D. Still working hard down low there. And you know, we talked about it. In any sport, it's hard to beat a team twice. Studi misses the three. Whether it's football, basketball, anything in between. 
when you lose to a team, you start you start to figure things out, mm -hmm. and you come back with a with a driving passion. So North Star has that under their belt. You know, prime example of the North Star was against Grand Island. They played GI twice in the season, lost twice, and then they ended up beating them. The game that really mattered was in the first round of A4 districts. Jared Lopez, the missed layup, struck at the rebound, and here are the Bearcats on the other end. No score, men half in. In the corner, Coster fakes a three, get a drive in, and gonna lay it. Try to lay up, draws the foul. That'll be on goal, I believe, and Coster will go to the line. And that's a shot Cannon Coster will mm -hmm. almost every time finish at the rim. So that's something as a defender, you, you want him to take that deep corner three. Mm. First one by Coster is good. Yeah, if I'm head coach, uh, Tony Kotrochi, <laughs> name is, that's uh, a pronounce the name, I would say don't. Jump, go, don't go jumping for joy when you have Coster in that corner. Make yeah. him take that yeah. shot. Coster makes both, and Carney, unlike last matchup, leads it 2 0. Last time out, the Bearcats put themselves in a 9 0 hole. Here's Williams, gets it to goal here around half court. Williams, a big pull-up three. Yep. Short, Coster with the rebound. Coster. Gives it to Schwarz. In the corner, Coster. Get to take a pull-up three. That's no. Statement. Rebound is by Brandt. And in the corner, Dracic. He's going to take a pull-up three, and he's oh. going to hit it. Sam Dracic hits a three. And it's 3-2 uh, North Star. Five and a half left opening quarter. Swars drives in. Back out Straka. No Coster. Straka dribbles. Gives it to Swars. In the corner. Shot gives it to Studi. Studi holds it. Gets it to Straka. Inside Coster baseline. Back out, Straka. Playing catch. Coster in the corner. Takes a three. No. Too strong. Brant's going to push it. Holds up. And they wanted... The uh, Bearcat faithful wanted to travel. Didn't get the call. Inside the Lopez. That's a good entry. Lopez misses the post move. Rebound. Goes to Coster. Neither team really making a lot of shots. Studi. Down about the three, does it. Schwarz. Oof. Goes in, goes up, draws the foul. He'll go up for two shots. And that's goal second. First of my scores, nothing but that. Checking in is the hero last Friday, Derek Rule, who hit the game-winning layup as time expired against Grand Island to upset the number two seed. And that's something, you know, just talking to classmates here. I mean, we wanted GI to come mm -hmm. and play. I mean, North Star is a great matchup, too, because they beat GI twice. So I think they're passing out headbands tonight in the rowdies mm -hmm. that said no G, <laughs> no GI. Williams going to draw the foul on Schwarz. Bearcats first. Schwarz is first as well. Brett Oman Miller checked in. Lopez gets it to Brant, guarded by Coster. Brant going to drive on Coster. Gets you move. Lays it up. Air ball. Strohs going to get the rebound and draw the foul. And checking in for Brandt is Brock Johnson, the 6'8". Don't commit. Averages 6.9 points a game. Had zero points against Grand Island and the last time he played against the Bearcats back on February 10th. Coster in the corner. 
Fake three, back to Schwartz. Schwartz is gonna take a three. He wow. in and out. And there's gonna be a foul underneath the hoop. I believe that'll be on Straka. Rule gets it in. We're tied at three. Rule holds up his dribble. Gets it to Lopez. Drives in. Great defense by Stroll. Great defense. And the ball mounts is in and out. Schwarz gets it to Straka. Pull up three. Ah. No. Rebound to Derek Rule. Bearcats, who went 10 for 18 on Friday, 0 for 5 to start this game. Straka switches on to Williams. Williams drives. Oh, there's a foul, and once again, we don't know if that's a foul, but Jack, if yeah, you go down, you that saw the head fake. Week, the head goes up. Yep. I mean, we're not down there, but it didn't, wasn't a... Uh, Flagrantly didn't look, blatantly looked like a foul. Keon Gorey checks in for Sam Straka. The Straka already has two fouls. All the way in the backcourt, Sam Juracek. With 3 10 remaining opening quarter, we're tied at only three. Rule almost trips. Drives in, kick out to Johnson, who's gonna take a three, and That's hits it. Rock Johnson hits a three, 6-3 North Star. There's Coster, back to Schwarz. North Star in that 2-3 zone. Schwarz directing the offense. 2.30 What's left of the quarter. Gorey. They aren't on the same page. Owen Miller. Coster, pull up three. Yep. Answers right back. Cannon Coster. Ties things up at six. Coster is five. I'm not sure if that was something new. Bronick's trying to fix that. As Old Miller gets called with the foul. His first team's fourth. Williams on the inbounds. Gets it in to Josiah Alec. Alec, kick out. Jurisic. Gonna drive in. Kick out here to Johnson. Misses it's the three, rebound by Stroh. Here comes Coster at the minute 45. Gives it to Schwarz. Schwarz in the corner. Now to Coster. Schwarz in a drive. Back out over Miller for the three. In and out. Rebound by Alec. And stolen away, and Stroh tried to throw it off. Rule couldn't. And here comes North Star. <laughs> Williams trying to draw the foul. There he is. Drives in, and oh, we got a body and a foul. <laughs> Team's fifth. I didn't know. I. He's reading that correctly because they're going to call that. They've called it three times down on the field, uh, down on the court. That's just going to happen. Williams misses the free throw. And he'll keep driving until the Bearcats yep. figure this out. Carson holds up his dribble, gets the Coster with a minute to go, opening quarter. Wild atmosphere here in Kearney, a packed house. Coster, fake three, drive in, draws the foul. Brock Johnson, his first. 
Check it in for Oba Miller and Gorey is Matt Studi, Sam Straka. Both starters in the corner, Straka. Gets it to Coster, now to Studi. And alley -oop play inside the Coster, back out to Stroh. Stroh goes in with the right hand. This is it, offensive rebound. And there's gonna be a foul on Stroh. See, that's something where usually the players have to be set, either boxing out or, I don't know, I, that's hard. Bearcats aren't getting much right now. No. Six team fouls in the first quarter. Johnson gets it to Rule. Rule back out Johnson. He's going to take a three. In and out. Schwarz rebound. The throw, and he couldn't get the alley oop play. That was almost a little scary right there. Yeah. Stroke it up. Old Miller to check in for Straka. And Indian is going to check in for. Uh, now he's going to check in for Straka. Ten seconds. North Star leads eight six. Drives. Williams misses. Rebound Studi. Two, one. Half brown, half court. Almost got it. But at the end of one of this district final, the North Star on top, 8 6. You're watching live. We'll be back for the second quarter here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Welcome back to Kearney. 8-6 begin the second quarter. Lincoln North Star in advantage. Uh, other scores in district final. Bellevue West leads Omaha West Side 12-9. Lincoln Pius leads by 19. 31-12 over Millard South. It's a big one from there. But this time the Bearcats trail by two. They shot 10 for 18 from beyond the arc last game. They're one for eight tonight so far. But they're shots that you, I mean, they have taken, those shots were good shots. Mm, yeah. I mean, you got to shoot those. Stroh finishes oh, with the yeah. left hand. Wow. Great job there by Stroh to put that with the left hand. Guarded by two of the North Navigators defenders and played it mm. in, tied this game. Good job there. Stroh was left for dead right there, and he made it work. Brant drives. Picks up for an throw. outlet. Gets back out to Juracek. Juracek. Grant gives it to Williams on the handoff. Pull up three for Williams. Short, rebound goes to Straka. And here comes Schwarz. Tie game at eight. Seven minutes left. Second quarter. Schwarz picks up his dribble. Gets it to Straka and it's gonna be Jump ball, North Star will have the possession. So Carney turns it over on the loose ball. Tied at eight. Grant double team on the full court press. There you Koster go. gets a hand on it. And Studi keeps it inbounds. Coster gets it. 
Great play there by Matt Studi. Inside Stroh, double teamed, triple teamed, and he's gonna go to the line. Still some great effort there by Stroh to put it up there. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's how you make something out of nothing. Yeah, that's two straight times. Stroh has two points. First time we will go to the line tonight. Bearcats three for four as a team. Stroh hits the first one. Brock Johnson checks back in for Dylan Brandt. Johnson hit a three-pointer in the first half, in the first quarter. Second one by Stroh. Hits it. Full court press on for the Bearcats. Down the floor, Johnson. Break. Stroh puts hands up, good defense. Stroh gets another hand in there. to poke it away, out of bounds. Bearcats will still be on the defensive. North Star still possession. Rocek gives it to Williams. Williams. Oh, and they're getting a call. Swores on the reach in. And that means North Star will go to the line the rest of the first half. Schwarz has two fouls and as a team has seven. First one, Williams missed. Rebound. It's going to go to the Bearcats. Going back in there at 313. Williams is now 0 for 2 from the line. The only two free throws, though, are for the Navigators. Bearcats now, I believe, trying to get a double two-possession game. Baseline Coster going to go in. Will fade away. Got it. Fade away hook. And got it. 12-8. Bearcats look like they're going a little bit of a zone. Williams gives it high post. Back out in the corner. Derek Rule misses it. Rebound, Coster. Down the floor. Studi, baseline. Holds his dribble. Back out, Schwarz. Schwarz assesses the situation. Gives it to Straka. Inside, Coster. Coster drives. He's going to draw the foul on the floor. That will be North Star sixth. Sam Dracic is first. Straka. Back at the Studi. Now to Schwartz. Schwartz has it. Five minutes left, second quarter. Oscar baseline. Back out Studi. Deep three. Off front rim. Rebound by Dracek. Williams drives. Blocked by Stroh. And Williams oh, will just go up back finish. anyway. It's and that time, time, I think they were setting up something down low, and Carson just kind of let him go by. 12-10, Bearcats still at the lead. And Dracek gets the steal and draws the flat foul on Schwarz. That's Schwarz's third. That was a heck of a play. Mm -hmm. Team's eighth, Keon Gori checks in for Sam Straka and Jane Ingen checks in for Carson Schwarz. Check to the line. Misses. Rebound. Will go. Stroh throws it into Coster. North Star not hitting their free throws. Now 
Ingen goes inside to Gorey. Back, Back out, out. Ingen. Coster could take a three. Hits yep. it! Cannon Coster. Hits it from downtown. 15-10. Straw went for the steal, missed it. Dama Williams lays one up, missed it. Ingen with a nice rebound. And here he comes in the corner. Straw bounce pass, goes up, hits hey. it in. That's a fast break. Time out, North Star. They trail it, 17-10. You're watching live here on the American Sports Network. We'll be back. Welcome back to Kearney, A4 District Final. Bearcats lead North Star 17-10. And guys, we're, we're talking about it during the break. Uh, this is probably the loudest this gym has been yeah. all season long. Yeah. Oh, it's coming to Kearney is probably one of the hardest places to play in the state. And with the crowd we have tonight, how loud it is, this is, also, this is an impact for the Bearcats, you know, momentum on their side, but also for North Stars. They have to deal with all this loudness and craziness that's going on here at Kearney High School. And honestly, I love it. North Star traveled well. Yeah, I give mean, credit to the, rowdy, to the rowdy section. Monday night, pretty uh, decent rowdy section. Especially for a Monday. They probably have school tomorrow, so mm -hmm. we'll give them credit for traveling out here tonight. Bearcats lead at 17-10. Alexander Gould is checked back in. He has two fouls. Goal goes in, back out. Good shot. Luke Reimer misses the shot. Rebound goes to Stroh. And here is Royce Austin, who's recently checked in. Only two starters out there right now for the Bearcats. Inga pull Good up three. Shot. Missed it too strong. Offensive rebound. Missed by Stroh. That's a heads up three by Ingen right mm -hmm. there. Williams on the drive. Oh my goodness. And I'm thinking exactly what Coach Baronic is. They're calling it. With the head fake, you Jack, I don't know if you noticed it there. The foul goes on Ingen, and Coach Braun, I can't believe it. And I really can't, I mean, it's he's interesting. doing the head fake the whole yeah. time, and they're calling it the entire time. But they miss it. And we have push on North Star. 0 for 4 for the line tonight for Williams. They're only four free throws they've had, and they're now 0 for 4. The foul went against North Star on Gorey. Oh, and right now, it looks like a final from Omaha Bryan. They beat Bellevue East 70 to 52 to go to the state tournament for the first time since 2012. Gorey hits the first free throw. Bearcat six for seven from the free throw line tonight. Gorey's second free throw. In and out. Rebound goes to Brock Johnson. Down the floor. Reimer gets it out to goal. We'll try to hand it off to Williams. Good defense there. That's by a good D, yeah. We finally do get to Stop Williams. Stop getting the ball. Maybe mm -hmm. that'll. Rule inside straw. Oh, oh they're going to call with a foul. I know about you, from up here, that looked like he just got all ball. Yeah. It's been some questionable balls, some questionable calls here in Kearney that we're all questioning about, and that was kind of one of them right there. Goal will go to the line. That's Stroh's second, team's 10. Goal oh misses another free throw. That is horrendous. 0 for 5 tonight from the Navigators at the line. 
not made a single free throw. The, and the Rowdies are doing a great job screaming right there to release it. They got help from the crowd too mm -hmm. on that last. Finally hits one. one Does for, more start. One for six from the line tonight for the Navigators. So here is Royce Austin. Gives it to Straka with 2.10 left in this first half. 18-11 Bearcats. Austin kick out. Straka take a three. Short. Rebound hit out. And that will go out of bounds. Off Williams and to the Bearcats. They got it back. Carson Schwarz and Seth Stroh checking in for the Bearcats. Stroh has two fouls, Schwarz has three. Things to look out for. Gorey. Straka back to Gorey. Gives it now to Schwarz. Goes around, gives it to Gorey. Back to Coster. Coster, pull up three, short. Ah. Rebound goes to Donovan Williams. And here is Sam Dronchik, gives it to Alexander Gold with a minute 28. Gold drives, holds dribble, gives it to Williams. He's gonna drive, lays it Ooh. up. Ooh. Nice reverse layup by Donovan Williams. Makes it 18-13. Six leading points tonight for Williams, leading the Navigators with six points. Gives it to Stroh in the baseline. Back out, Gorey. He's going to take a three. Hit it! We know Gorey can shoot. He can shoot for a big man. Timeout, Carney. They lead it by eight. 21 13. We'll take it with them. 51 seconds left, first half. You're watching live here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Welcome back to Kearney. Off the three by Keon Gorey, the sophomore. The Bearcats lead at 21-13. Derek Rule brings it up for the Gators. Williams. 37 seconds left, first half. We'll see if North Star wants to hold it for the last shot. Gives it to Rule. Alec to Lopez, back to Williams. Williams, a deep three, too strong. Rebound goes to Ingen. With 14 seconds, Ingen will hold up. 10 seconds. Old dribble gives to Coster. Five seconds. Deep three for Coster. Missed it. And there's going to be a over the back foul. We'll start to the line. Brown Miller, Miller second. So with 2.1 seconds to go, Jared Lopez will shoot two point two free throws to end practically end this first half. First one missed. North Star. Shooting themselves in the foot with missing these free throws. And these aren't these these aren't in and out shots. Yeah, you know, not these are close. bricking on the back yeah. of the second one. Up. Oh. Yep, there should be a line violation on Alec, but this is anyway. Both free throws missed. And at the half, the Bearcats lead by eight. 21-13. 
We'll take a break. Come back. Stats for the first half. Scores. Other district finals are around the state. And get you ready for the second half of this A4 district final. Again at half. The Bearcats lead it. 21-13. We'll be back for the BSN halftime report here on the Bearcats Sports Network.
Hello everyone and welcome back live here to Kearney for the BSN Halftime Report. At the half of this A4 District Final, the Bearcats lead at 21-13 over Lincoln North Star. Cannon, you got stats for the Navigators. Leading away from Navigators, the leading point scorer. Donovan Williams has six points on the night. He has four missed free throws, so those are kind of big also that the Navigators do need. After that, we have uh, Sam Jerichek. He has three points on the night. Brock Johnson with three, and Alexander Gold has one, which came off the, the only free throw out of the eight attempts was by Alexander Gold. On the rebounding aspect, Dylan Brandt, Derek Rule, and Donovan Williams all have two, and then Jarosicek, Gold, Lopez, and uh, Johnson, and a Lake all have one rebound. And so far, those are the unofficial stats tonight for the Navigators through the first half of the game. For the Bearcats, leading the way uh, is Cannon Coster. He has 10 points to go along with five total rebounds. Sestro has six with five rebounds. Keon Goru with four, and then Carson Schwartz with one. Uh, shooting wise as a team from the field, Bearcats are three for four. So not taking a lot of shots from there. Yeah. But big thing is they're three for 15 from beyond the arc. They were 10 for 18 in the first round against Lincoln Southeast. Uh, from the free throw line, they are six for eight with a total of 16 rebounds, uh, one steal, one blocked shot. Big thing to pay attention though is the foul situation. Carson Schwartz, starting point guard, has three fouls. Sestro has two. Sam Strzok has two. Brett Obermiller has two. Jane Ingen and Keon Gorey each have one. The only uh, starters with no fouls are Cannon Coster and Matt Studi. So something to watch out for uh, when we get here in the second half of this basketball game. The first, a couple of shout outs uh, to make. First one is a shout out to the 1994 KHS basketball uh, graduate Corey Simpson and his son Kaysen turn, tuning in from Dallas. Uh, it was Corey Simpson who holds the KHS record with 16 individual assists that's, in a game. That's awesome. Also, I'd like to give a nice shout out to the 1994 Kearney High School basketball grad Kevin Coster and the family watching from Denver. He holds the KHS, the KHS high jump record at 6'9. They watch all of our games here at Strive, and we thank you for the support that we are getting from the Coster family. So yes, thank you everyone for joining us uh, here tonight. It is a big one in store uh, as the Bearcats are trying to go back to state for the second mm -hmm. consecutive season, while North Star is trying to, to get back to state for the first time since 2012. Other scores at half, Lincoln Pius leads Millard South 46-32. Creighton Pratt leads Millard West 47-23. At the half, Bellevue West leads Omaha West Side 24-18. And at the half, Lincoln East, number three overall seed, leads Lincoln High 26-23. And also punching their ticket to state for the first time since 2012, Omaha Bryan defeated Bellevue East 70-52. The only team right now to qualify for the state tournament. Lincoln North Star still coming out in that kind of zone. Here's Schwarz. That's Gets the ball poked steal. loose from Williams. He runs the floor and he's gonna lay it in and he wants a foul. So Williams comes up with a steal to start this second half. 21-15. Six point game and this is, North Star has gotta keep it within mm -hmm. these points right here. He's lying inside to Stroh. He'll just finish. Beautiful. Beautiful lay in there by Stroh. Stroh got behind his man and just laid it in. And remember, Seth Stroh does stand and jump. So pretty good vertical. Still waiting for the dunk, Jeff. Carmi High's That's number me. one high jumper. Mm -hmm. Our Cats lead by eight, 23-15. Sam Jurasek. Draw check in the corner, Dylan Brandt. He's going to take a spot up three. Missed it. Rebound. Goes to ah. Cole. He's going to take a little jumper. Got it. Alexander Gold, the offensive rebound and put back. 23-17. Strzok up baseline, Coster. Kick out. Swords going to take a three. Got yep. it. Carson Schwarz 
Hits a three, makes it 26-17. Here's Grancheck. Grant's going to drive on Coster. Goes up and draws the foul. We're calling hands right here, but I just saw Coster with his hands Straight up. up. Different if the ref called a official to call the body, but I didn't see no, any he hands in there. No, he wasn't pushing either. No. Would, at least it would have made a little more sense, but I didn't see any hands. I'm throwing his hands straight up. Brant hits the first free throw. That's Coster's first foul, team's first of the half. Brandt hits both. Brandt is now two for four from the line, with now Northstar has three from 10 from the line tonight. 26-19. Jane Ingen checked in for the Bearcats. Coster holds up his dribble. Gets it back out to Ingen. Now to Swarz. Swarz dumps it off for Stroh. Gets a foul and one! But it doesn't get more textbook than that. Great play by the Bearcats right there. Seth Stroh, the and one off the dump off of Carson Schwarz. Alexander Gold now has his third his third foul tonight. And Stroh hits the and one. Brings it up to ten. Stroh now the team leader with 11 points. The lead has crawled out to 10. 240 into this second half. Williams out to Rule. Derek Rule for North Star. Hands it off to Williams. Lost track of it. Ingen dives. Pokes loose. Williams still has it, but but the reset. Great effort by Jaden. In the corner. Williams, a spot up, deep three, missed it. Hasn't Stroh made rebound. one of those. The 0 for 5 with that. No. Here's, oh, towards behind the back, goes up, foul, yeah. and one! Wow! That right there was a crowd pumper there that Carson Swartz just did. Behind the back, gets the and one. What a play there by Swartz. Timeout, North Star. They need it. Carson Schwarz gets the end one. He's shooting the free throw when we come back here on the Bearcat Sports Network. Welcome back to Carney here on BSN A4 District Final. Carney leads 31-19. Got a nice shout out for John and Jay Moran. They're watching from Arizona. Thank you for the support. You, you, I know I gave you a shout out last week. We thank the support and also the support you've done all season for the Bearcats. Carson Schwarz has six points. Five here in the second half. Misses the free throw. Brock Johnson with the rebound. He recently checked in. That's actually the first offensive rebound the Navigators have had all game. They've all been defensive rebounds. Williams drives. Goes up and gets the layup. Ten points now tonight for Williams as he's leading the Navigators. 
Schwarz holds up. Gives it to Ingen on the bounce pass. Now Stroh. Schwarz. Bounce pass, Coster. Back out, Straka, Good pull find. up three. No, short, rebound goes to Williams. Oh, they want. Shroud brought Johnson, corner three, yep. got it. That's big. The momentum now swinging in the favor of North Star. See that versatility of Brock Johnson going to down. Six, eight, and he's two for. Yeah. Two for three on threes. Mm -hmm. Schwarz backs up. 3.35 left third quarter. Stroh inside Coster. Draws the foul on Derek Rule. <laughs> foul situation is almost completely opposite from the first half as yeah. of right now. Not many fouls here. North Star has three teams. Derek Rule's first. Cardinal has one team foul. Alexander Gold checks in for Jared Lopez. Schwarz goes all the way out for Ingen. Gives it to Schwarz. Schwarz attacks the lane. Kick out Gorey. Fake three. Now he's going to drive. Gorey ah. gets blocked. Beautiful move. Goal on the other end, loses track. It's Bearcat basketball. <laughs> Trying to push the pace, lost track. Here's Ingen inside Stro. Stro. Nice spin move, goes up, huh. short. Rebound by North Star, and here come the Navigators. Trail by seven, 31-24. Williams drives, and a body. Oh my God! On the floor. And if that's on Schwartz, that's his fourth. That'll be an Ingen. That was unbelievably late. Yeah, for a second I thought he was gonna call it travel. travel. Usually in that situation, you usually see a travel. Goal gets it out to Williams. And in second, team second, so don't worry there. And Williams makes Gorey pay. First deep three. And North Stars within four. And Ronick's calling for a timeout. North Star, who is down by 12, has cut it within four. 31 27, two and a half left, third quarter. We'll be back here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Welcome back live here to Kearney. Ever since the timeout, North Star has gone in an 8-0 run. To make it 31-27. Bearcats led by 12. Coster pull up three, short. Offensive rebound. We'll go to Schwarz, but a foul on rule. His second team's fourth. Coster. Near wing. Back out Gorey. 
Now Schwarz. Ingen. Let's go inside. And now an offensive foul on Tro. Did you see that? I did not. I didn't either. So, North Star with a minute 50 left in the third quarter. Trails by four, 31-27, and they have the ball. Currently on an 8-0 run. Gracek gives it to Brock Johnson. Gracek inside goal, back out Williams. Williams to Johnson. Ooh, thought about the deep we'll shoot drive. That. Loses track of it, and it's going to be Carney basketball. And Williams arguing his point. Josiah Alec checks in for Brock Johnson, and Luke Reimer is going to check in for Alexander Goal. Sam Straka checks back in for Keon Gorey. Bearcats need someone to make a play. North Star and 8-0 run. The shot selection not been the greatest for the Bearcats as of late. Inside throw. And it's going to be a push foul on Alec for North Star. Team's fifth. Alec's first. Schwarz, back out to Ingen. Ingen on the run, back out Stroh. Fake three, get to go in. And now they call the charge. That's Stroh's fourth. I mean, that, that's a very, that's a, that's a smart basketball play right there. Mm -hmm. He was the only one under the hoop. The official hesitated for a second. Yeah. I mean, it was a charge. 50 seconds to go. Forty seconds. Rule. It's the Williams. Deep three. No. Rebound Coster. Just by the coach's reaction, it looks like, I mean, they're, they're not telling him to shoot that shot. Mm -hmm. A couple of them were shaking their heads. And he's gotta be one for six now. I'm um, Costa, why don't just take it in? Draw foul. They're playing you man to man. Good defense. And Costa draws a foul on Rule. Yeah, 2.6 seconds to go. When you think about it, that's actually not, not, might, not, might not be too bad for the Navigators. Takes away, makes it hard for the Bearcats to get one last shot. Straka, get pull up three, got it! Yep. At the buzzer, Sam Straka hits a three. And we go to the fourth. Bearcats lead it by seven. 34-27. One more quarter to the side. Who goes to Pinnacle Bank Arena? You're watching live here on the Bearcat Sports Network. We'll be back. Welcome back to Kearney. One more quarter, decide he's going to Pinnacle Bank. 
Other updates from around the state. Lincoln Highest leads Millard South, 67-54 at the end of the third quarter. Creighton Brent leads Millard West, 47-23. End of the third quarter, Bellevue West leads Westside, 37-31. Uh, and Lincoln East leads Lincoln High, 38-32 at the end of the third quarter. And RA punching their ticket to Pinnacle Bank Arena tonight was Omar Bryan with a 70-52 victory over Bellevue East. North Star starts the ball in this fourth quarter. They trail it by seven. Sam Straka hit a three at the buzzer. Williams gonna take a spot up three. That's it's a, a shot. And he's been since he's been shooting that all game. Mm -hmm. That's a you know that's a fourth quarter shot deep yeah. three. He's gonna keep shooting that. That's not gonna change the way that the Gators play. Swarz bounce pass to Gorey gives it to Ingen. Swarz Coster. Coster, back out, Ingen. Gorey, out to Schwarz, four point game, 34-30. Bearcats lead, Schwarz behind the back, holds up, Ingen. Fake three, now to Coster, can. near the block. Double team, and a foul. That's on goal, that's his fourth. And it will be. That takes away some height as well. And that's also the team's seventh. It means Bearcats will shoot free throws the rest of the way. Coster at the line. Misses it. Rebound Williams. We rarely see Coster miss a free throw, yeah. but he did there. Coster has 10 points. Hasn't scored in the second half. Goal, out to Johnson. He's gonna take a spot up three. Too strong, rebound Straka. Here comes Coster. He's got drive in himself, draws the foul. He'll be on the floor. But Coster will go to the line anyway. Derek Jules for that now puts two navigators with four fouls apiece. We have Derek Rule and Alexander Goal. Both now have four apiece. Dylan Brandt checks in for Rule. Now Coster will have a one on one. Makes it. There it goes. Master three for four from the line tonight. 11 points tied for the team lead with Seth Stroh, who's on the bench now with four fouls. Luke Reimer checks in for Alexander Goal. Here's Coster. Got the second. 36-30, Bearcats lead. Minute and a half into this fourth quarter. Reimer brings it across the timeline. Johnson. Here's it to Rachek. Rachek drives. Great defense by Schwartz, but Ooh. lays it in. That's a hell of a shot right there. Yep. And a timeout. My North Star will take it with him. Bearcats lead at 36-32. You're watching live here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Welcome back live here to Carney. Arsic Schwarz brings it up. 36-32 Bearcats lead. Coster guarded by Reimer. Look for something. Gonna drive with the left hand. 
Double team, rips it away. Poke loose, Koster still has it. Gets loose in the lane, goes up, lays hey. it in! Good job by Koster right oh. there. What a play! And now here's a big defensive possession, I'd say right here. Williams, step back three, oh. short, Koster rebound. And a chance to maybe give the Bearcats some breathing room. Koster drives, goes up, draws a foul. It'll be on Reimer. The second, team's ninth. Bearcats still have two fouls to give. This is it. Foster four for six on the free throw line. He has 14 points to lead the team. It's there the second. Go. Seven point lead, 39-32. Big possession right here. Williams guards baseline. Oh, they're gonna draw the foul. Ingen, his third foul, team's fifth. And you gotta wonder, the head fake. You saw it in there. Yeah. That's just, he'll keep doing that. Cause I don't think he, I don't know if they'll keep shooting those deep threes. Yeah. At a time like this. Reimer. Williams. Holds his dribble, gets it away. Rotchek. Gonna drive. Kick out to Williams. Started by Coster. And Williams lost track and went off Ingen, so out of bounds, but good defensive possession right now for the Bearcats. Yes. Brock Johnson checks in for Lopez and Sestro, checks back in for Keon Gorey. Sestro has four fouls. Gotta keep your hands up like Seth is doing right now. Yeah. In the corner, Johnson gets to Williams. Williams. Williams directing offense, 420 left, fourth quarter. Winner goes to Pinnacle Bank Arena in the state tournament. Jaracek pull up three, missed it. Rebound, Koster. Fast break. And he's gonna shut the floor. Koster! Draws the blocking foul and goes to the line. Kind of anticlimactic right there. Yeah. <laughs> Costa will go to the line. Makes the first one. Koster hits both. Makes it a nine point lead. And fans are gonna get on their feet. And so are we. 41-32. Williams. Rule, hands up to Rissick. Dracek. Good D. In the corner, Brandt pull up three. Let him Short. shoot that. The Bearcats will take it all day long. Towards up the floor. We'll give it. Just throw back to Schwarz. And they'll reset. 
Schwarz sees open lane, backs out, gives it to Coster. Coster, he's get a drive, goes up, and misses the shot. Rebound Brock Johnson. Down the floor, Williams. Brock check, gives it to Johnson. He's gonna take a three. Too short, rebound Stroh. And a foul on Rule, and I think that's his fifth. It is just like his number. Alexander Gold checks back in. Vanel Sestro with 3.08 remaining. Has two free throws and a chance to make this a double digit lead. Misses the first one. Stroh, three for four from the free throw line. That was his first missed free throw of the night. 11 points. Stroh second. Got there it. Go. 10 point game. 42-32, 3.05 left. Williams. Trying to isolate. Gets it to Brandt. Drives. Lays it up. Missed it. Seth throw Rebound. You can't ask for better defense than that from Seth Stroh right there. Especially with four fouls. Coster in lane. Jump stop. Goes up. Gets it in. Coach Javarnik pumped up. And it's a 12 point game. They want him to clear out. Williams, a deep spot up three. Bank, almost banked it in, offensive rebound. Goes up, missed shot, and it's gonna be off Straka. I would say ill-advised three at that time. <laughs> you could say that about the whole game. For in this moment, North Star is gonna take anything they can get right now. 220, Coster, steals it away! If you're Carney, take your time. They could come at you. North Star has 10 team fouls. So any foul, the Bearcats will go to the line for two free throws. Schwarz, two minutes to go. Almost poke lose by Jaracek. Schwarz, get a drive in, lays it up, got it! Stupid. <laughs> 1.45 left, 46-32, Carney. Williams, Trocek, pull up three, too strong. Rebound, Coster, he goes to the floor and there'll be a foul. Coster goes to the line with 19 points. And it looks like there's gonna be a timeout. A minute 32 left. Carney leads it, 46-32. Find out who's going to Pinnacle Lake Arena when we come back here on the Bearcats Sports Network. All right, Ken, promo this week, Grand Island. We're gonna have to put on the walk shirt here so you can rip it off. You sure? Yeah, you only get to work for five seconds. Besides, you get to rip it off. All right. What's up, Bruiser? No, Bruiser, no. It's not what it looks like. Bruiser! Welcome back to Carney. 46, 32 Bearcats, a minute 32 left. Lincoln North Star in desperation mode as they trail by 14. And Cannon Coster, who's seven for nine from the free throw line tonight, is set to shoot two free throws.
First one is good. His last ever home game, as for all the seniors. Hits both. And a 16 point lead with a minute and a half to go. Williams drives, goes up, gets the lay in. And we have a timeout by Lincoln North Star. And still trying to decide how long it is. It's going to be a 30 second. So we'll keep it right here. Let's go through the stats. Leading the way for the Bearcats. Of course, Cannon Coster, 21 points. Seth Stroh with 12. Carson Schwartz with eight. Keon Gorey with four. Sam Straka with three. And then for North Star, it was 18 points on the night is Donovan Williams. Jerusalem, he has five. Goal has three himself. Grant has two. Rule is zero. And Brock Johnson has six points on the night. It's been a Donovan Williams show because, you know, he's the only player in double digits. Other than that, I think the, the next highest scoring has six points, and that's Brock Johnson. And that was at the end of the first, at the end of the first half. And you know what's been kind of impressive tonight, I'd say, maybe not on the stat sheet, but Jay Ingen, who's yeah. getting his massive play oh, time he, here. And he's getting playing a lot of great defense, and here he is. On, on the, the ball and off the ball contributor, yep. not with just points, but defense mm -hmm. and ball movement and just being aware. Schwarz drives in, holds up, gives it to Ingen. There's no one around him, so he'll just wait. A minute to go. Northstar's got a foul. Costa loses track. And we have a timeout by the Bearcats. Ingen dived on it. Hell of a dive. Yeah. And he was able to get it, and now... They'll take a timeout, we'll take it with them. Bearcats lead it, 48-34. 57, 57 seconds left in the game. We'll be back right here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Welcome back to Kearney. 48-34, 57 seconds to go. Coster in the backcourt. Northstar's got a foul. But they're going to get away with a steal or jump ball. Ooh, they're going to give a timeout to Lincoln Northstar. We'll see how long the timeout is. Haven't given an indication. We'll just keep it right here for now. Carney leads it 48-34. North Star came within four. Bearcats are up by 12, 31 to 19. North Star then went on an 8-0 run to make it 31 to 27. So that means since then, the Bearcats have gone on a 17 and seven run. And we have some final scores. Lincoln Pius punches their ticket to state. 73-62. Creighton Prep goes to state with a 66-37 win over Millard West. Bellevue Heat West beats Omaha West side to go to state. Omaha Bryan won 70 to 52 for Bellevue East earlier today. And Lincoln East wins to go to state over Lincoln High. So that means that Carney, regardless if this one matches up, most likely win it, but they will go to state at least as a wild card. Pull up three, hit, and good by Donovan Williams. 48 to 37, 30 seconds to go, Schwarz, and there'll be a foul. And it'll be the fifth on Dylan Brandt. So he is out of the game. Carson Schwartz will go to the line to shoot two free throws. He is one for three 
from the charity strike tonight. Eight points. So number two, Emmanuel Abdel Karim checks in. Schwarz to shoot two free throws. Bearcats lead by 11, 48-37, 29 seconds to go. Schwarz misses the first free throw. Second one by Schwarz. Got it. North Star's got to get going, 25 seconds. Johnson, Jaracek makes Straka wow. miss. Three-pointer miss by Jaracek, defensive rebound. Here's Kopter, Will Sealand! Yeah. Kalen Koster seals the deal. And Carney, for the second straight year, is state tournament bound. Great finish. Look at our star on the season. Falls to 12 and 13, while the Bearcats improve to 18 and 6 as they cut down the nets and will travel the two hours east to Pinnacle Bank Arena for the second straight year. Final score, Carney 51, Lincoln North Star 37. Coach Bronick giving a speech to his players there on the court. And my oh my, what a journey it's been for this Carney team. All the adversity during the season, losing Shiloh Robinson of the week of the season opener. Losing a shocking loss to Bellevue East on the road in the middle of the season. Losing on a game-winning layup to Lincoln East here at home back in December. Losing to Norfolk by three home at December. And now they are the 84 district winners and are headed to state for the second consecutive year. What a journey for this team. And from here at BSN, we congratulate them. And even though the score, and Jack Cannons goes to both of you, even though the score was 51-37, it didn't feel that way. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's another 12-point game, but that, or 14-point game, but it felt like it was closer than the last one. You know, like, that was a good game. Mm -hmm. Round of applause for, for North Star for coming here and competing at Connie High. This is probably... One of the hardest places to play yep. tonight. And the Rowdies charge the court as the Bearcats for the second straight year are going to Pinnacle Bank Arena. With the win, the Bearcats have clinched either the fourth or fifth seed. They were the fourth seed last year. With Bellevue West winning, that will be their opponent. Carney Bellevue East next week 
next Thursday afternoon at 3.45 at Pinnacle Bank Arena. If you are not lucky enough to travel down to one of the best basketball venues, probably the best in the state and one in the region, it will be live on the NFHS network. RBSN crew will travel down and call the game if you cannot make it. But right now, everyone's soaking it in here at Kearney High. District champions for the second year in a row going to the state tournament. That's awesome. Great going for the Bearcats. And what a turnaround for this program that before Coach Veronic took over was not uh, finished for 500 seasons, under 500 seasons. Before going to state last year, they haven't been to state in 2008. And with a sports tradition, sports rich tradition school like Kearney, that's a very long time. Yeah. Waiting sure. around eight years. For sure. From one of the biggest sports in the state. And you see that, if you ever get the chance to go down and travel to Pinnacle, mm. it's something else. It's yep. really cool. No, I remember last season we went down. It was probably one of the best experiences I ever had when mm -hmm. we did girls and boys state basketball. It's just a fun atmosphere, you know, calling it in the girls game and then for the boys game, me and the rowdy section both games. That was just a fantastic time. It was probably the most fun I ever had at a basketball game, I'll say. And what a moment for the seniors. We get to go back to Pinnacle Bank. And some of the young guns as well, Sestro, Colin Murray, Owen Lionel, Nate Jacobson, Jack Johnson, all be able to soak in the atmosphere of Pinnacle Bank. So maybe when they get as an upperclassman, they're saying, hey, I witnessed this. I want to go back. Yeah. And what a way for Cannon to finish the night. Yep. You know, his career here at Kearney High in this gym. It's not over yet. If I'm not mistaken, Coster had 10 points at halftime. He had no points in the third quarter. He scored 13 in the fourth quarter as the Bearcats win it here, 51-37. As they get the post-game festivities going, we'll take a break. Come back for the BSM post-game show. Stats, scores from around the state, and an interview with assistant coach Kyle Fletcher coming up here on the BSN post-game show. With basketball season around the corner, just getting pretty excited. It's starting at power forward, a 5'10 senior, number 30, Jeff Ekstrom. Grab a while. Jeff, what are you doing? Nothing. And one, baby, that's and one. I think it might begin to his head. Basketball season around the Welcome back to Kearney for the BSM post game show. The Bearcats punch their ticket to state for the second straight year with a 51 37 victory over the Lincoln North Star Gators. Cannon, the stats for the visitors. The unofficial stats for the, the Navigators leading the way was, the, was their star player, Donovan Williams, at 21 points. 
the only player to be in the double digits. After that was Brock Johnson at two three-pointers. He had seen it with six points. Sam uh, Jerichek had five points. Alexander Gold with three, and, and it was Jared Lopez with two. It was just it's kind of a bad night shooting for him. Only one player was in double digits. After that, like I said, the next highest player was six points. So it was more of a Donovan Williams show. And then unofficially, they went three for ten from the free throw line. So that's points that they could have had. And then rebounding aspect, Donovan Williams had four, Brock Johnson with four, Alexander Gold with three, and, Dan, and Sam, Sam Juracek and uh, Dylan Brent had two, and that are the unofficial stats for the visiting navigators from Lincoln North Star. Again, can't, Jeff X from Camerath with you here. Final stats for Carney. Cannon Coster leads the way, 13 points in the fourth quarter, finishes with 23 points to go along with nine rebounds. Behind him with Sestro, 12 points and eight rebounds. Carson Schwarz, nine points. Four rebounds. Uh, you had Sam Straka with three points. Keon Gore with four points. And then you had, uh, that was it for scoring. From the field, the Bearcats shot 10 for 14. From beyond the arc, uh, they uh, last game shot 10 for 18. They went five for 19 tonight, but still was able to get the victory. Shot 16 for 23 from the free throw line. 27 total rebounds, two steals, one block shot with a total of 16 personal fouls. Uh, for a total of 51 to 37 victory as they punch their ticket to state. Most likely face Bellevue West uh, in the first round. Punching their tickets to state tonight was Lincoln Pia 73-62 over Millard South. Creighton Prep 66-37 over Millard West. Bellevue West beating Omaha West Side. Omaha Bryan beating Bellevue East 70 to 52 and Lincoln East beating Lincoln High. Of course, Carney winning tonight. The only district final not tonight is tomorrow as Omaha Central, the number one seed overall in the wild card points, takes on Papillion La Vista, the defending state champions. And now joining us now is assistant coach Kyle Fletcher. <laughs> Howdy, boys. How are we doing up here? We're doing great. Coach Fletcher, congratulations. Hey, thanks a District lot, District Championship, a state birth. How does it feel? Oh, it feels great. These kids work so hard. I mean, it goes all the way back to our summer. Um, all the kids buying into what Coach has been selling these guys for three years, and, and it, the hard work pays off. There's no doubt about it with good attitude and, and an unselfishness that these guys have. Holy cow. So you guys begin the season. You guys lose Shiloh Robinson, junior standout. You guys lose a couple ones on the road. They're a bit shockers. And you guys finally you win here, districts, get to the state championship. With all that, all the adversity this team had to deal with, what does this mean to this team? Well, you know, every team I've ever coached had a lot of adversity. It's just a matter of how you respond to adversity, and there's different types of adversity. And I'll tell you what, losing a player like Shiloh and losing the caliber of a person that he is, you know, we really didn't lose him. He's with us. He just isn't on the court, you know. And so he's been a valuable asset to our program. He's taken Sestro under his wing. He's taken Keon under his wing. And, and Shiloh is still a m major part of what we're going to do this year. So he's been there the whole way. Um, so proud of that kid. So proud of all these kids. But, uh, you know, we knew what we were capable of. Even when people were probably writing us off, you know, kind of scratching us off their preseason favorites list once they found out about Shiloh, we didn't lose faith in ourselves. We didn't lose that belief that we could still hang in there. And, and uh, every, every experience we had was, you know, those losing things, we just lost games. It wasn't. A, we didn't lose the season. We didn't lose our last game yet. So uh, we're still fighting. We're still clawing. We're in the final eight. You know. So we'll see if we can go down and go, go one and zero three different times, and we'll be we'll be right there at the end, standing tall. So we'll see. So with the game, you guys are up 31-19. North Star calls a timeout. They go in an eight-all run to clinch it within four. You guys call a timeout. And then you guys crawl slowly, <laughs> get back into a double-digit lead. What was the message uh, to your? to you guys' team in that timeout when they went on the able run? Well, anytime you got a player out there like Donovan Williams, you know there's going to be some runs. I mean, the kid can shoot it from 28 feet and beyond, and he can take you off the dribble, and he can get to the rim, and he can really impose his will. And, and you know, we weren't really executing very well on offense, so it was just it was just a matter of regrouping, and it was response and adapt and overcome, and that's kind of what the message was. So it wasn't it wasn't like we were doing anything we didn't want to do. It just had to get, get our minds back on what we needed to get done. And so... I think one of the things player-wise that stand out tonight was Jane Ingen. It might not have shown points-wise, but tonight he got in more playing time. At the end of the game, you saw he was there on the court. He made 
kind of dirty plays, plays that uh, need to be done, and they might not yeah, show up on the stat sheet. Uh, what was your, uh, what did you analyze when you uh, saw his performance tonight? Well, I'll tell you what, we kind of needed him. It was just a matter of the matchups dictated. We needed somebody out there with a little more length, a little more size. You know, you'd think put Jaden in the game, you might need an extra shooter on the floor. But tonight we needed his defensive ability. We got into some foul problems. We couldn't guard Williams the way we wanted to. So it was really Jaden's task when it was all said and done, and it was his turn. He did a heck of a job. And so you guys win here tonight. You guys are the fourth or fifth seed. You guys uh, will play Bellevue West, um, most likely, unless something happens tomorrow with Omaha Central losing, but most likely Bellevue West. When you look at them, uh, you guys played them earlier in their season. Uh, what'd you take away uh, from them when you played them earlier in the year? It'll be a great matchup. They had a couple guys go, uh, out of that game for whatever reasons they were out. I don't know if they were hurt or disciplinary reasons. So we know that we're going to have to get a good look at those guys on film, do a lot of scouting and do a lot of research. We got some time to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll put all of our resources into being ready for Bellevue West. And, you know, it's a, it's a three-day tournament. If you can win one, you can get to the next one. If you win that one, you get to the next one. So we know we... We have the type of team that, that's ready for a three-day tournament. We just got to be ready for day one, though. You got to be ready for the first one. So thank you, Coach, for joining us here on uh, BSM Post Game Show. Bearcats win it 51-37. Assistant Coach Kyle Fletcher uh, joining us here. Thank Guys, you so much, Coach. thanks for everything. Your support's been invaluable this year. Appreciate everything you do for us. We thank you for joining us for the rest, uh, for the entirety of the season, uh, for joining us here on the Post Game Shows. And congrats to your team for making it to the state tournament. Thanks a lot. You guys are a big part of our team. Don't forget it, all right? We'll see you down in Lincoln in, we a, in a week and a half. Well, uh, we're going to wrap things up here quick. Bearcats win it 51-37. Most likely to play Bellevue West uh, next Thursday at Pinnacle Bank Arena. That game will be at 345 at Pinnacle Bank. Uh, you can watch it. If you can't make it down there, Pinnacle Bank is one of the best basketball venues in the Midwest, I'd say. Uh, they... Uh, a tremendous atmosphere down there. If you cannot make it down there, we as a BSN crew will head down and cover the game on the NFHS network, the same network that was uh, uh, the, the Cartney Creighton prep game. Uh, if you watched it earlier this year for football, it'll be on that network. We'll be live on it. There is a 995 B, but it will be on the NFH NFHS network. Otherwise, this was our last free basketball strive broadcast of the year next will be soccer beginning in mid-march just a few weeks away surprisingly turn around and get into soccer season but i have been your host jeff ekstrom canna rat jack mcfadden our color producers zach Morkin, uh james lee Alyssa epler ali myers our executive producer robert goff Cannon, final thoughts as we wrap up this uh strong basketball season and prepare for state no i'm gonna like to uh, congratulate all the teams that came to carney we got the opportunity the opposing teams you know we enjoyed having you guys come down here without you, without those teams coming, not the Stride program. It would have been a good season. But, you know, congratulations to the Bearcats. Had a great season. Can't lose at home. Carney cannot lose at home. That's a great feeling. The loudest place to play, and the fans proved it tonight. I'd like to thank the viewers for joining us the last two seasons for being on the program. It was always nice to have you guys, and, you know, especially this year. We, You guys are a big support of us. And I am looking forward to next Thursday when we go to state to watch the first round of Carney take on Bell West. So Carney Bell West next Thursday, Pinnacle Bank Arena, NFHS Network, 345, or go down to Lincoln. I have been your host, Jeff Ekstrom. Our final basketball broadcast. Thank you, everyone, viewers, for every broadcast we've done this year for football, volleyball, basketball. And thank you, everyone, for viewing us and supporting our program and Carney High School Athletics. For the final time this basketball season on this Strive Network, I have been your host, Jeff Ekstrom, and have a fantastic night, everyone.